Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another teaching of the unorthodox Rabbi Bill Clinton. Today we are diving straight into the brand new DLC that Rockstar dropped like a sneaky surprise that came with the fart. No trailer, no nothing, but matter, it does not, because we will get to the bottom of this in this video. So let's get into it without further ado. Go oh, ahead and smash like and subscribe. Badum, badum! Badum, badum! Here we are, back on the streets. Now I am a poor bum, I only got 7 million bucks, and whatever I do, it's important that I am very sensible with my investments, or else, all the endeavors that I planned, ooh, I don't mind if I do. Before diving into the juicy gravy of this new update, it's time to investigate the brand new ray tracing that Rockstar has added, and let me tell you, it is looking... Yeah, it's definitely looking. It's looking like a PowerPoint presentation. The real question is, can I even use the rear view mirrors? And the answer is a resounding. What on God's green earth is this even supposed to be? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. But you know what can make this up? My sweet Jesus on a pogo stick, I paid top dollar for this and thus I will use it and about two minutes in, I regretted every single decision I made in the last ten minutes, but my god, I will drive this thing to the far north even if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> about fifteen minutes of blood, sweat and tears later I arrived. <laughs> Ron was cuddling while a lot of people were watching to each their own. This guy was explaining that we would be business partners and this would all lead up to some great stuff. But all I could think of right now is how I would never ever want to drive that RV ever again. But then, oh shit was hitting the fan. We want cuddles too, screamed some people outside. Show me your butthole, fella! Holy shit, and just like that, all shit was hitting the fan. The 15 frames per second ray trace reflection and shadows fan turned that shit off right away, and now we can kick butthole. Surrounded on all sides, brap, 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 flare to the dick, brap, 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 get out of the way, brap, brap, and done. Fresh meat, if you can get me my RV back, I'm gonna say you're basically one of us. But on the way out, we are terrible news. Butthole's journey got stolen, and I instantly felt sick to my stomach. Every second I drove over there, I prayed, please don't do this, Rockstar. Please don't do this, please don't. Fuck! But thank God, we only need to drive 1.6 miles. It could be much worse, I suppose. It could have us drive all the way back to... But the mission was completed, and when I turned around, I saw not one, not two, but three doors. Holy moly, I can't wait to see what's going on in there. Ah yes, a big hall with nothing, aka the freak shop. I'll save the other two doors for later, I do not want to overdose on content. Dax needed me to steal some party supplies and get them over to the freak shop. No worries, steal truck, hook up supplies, drive back, but then ambush. I drove right through that shit, no biggie, but then... <laughs> Nothing pisses me off more than unsafe working conditions. The lost didn't strap in the supplies and now the lost are gonna feel the full girth of the strap. I did what any man would do, plow straight into that clubhouse with a big fucking truck and I'm dead. And now I was playing on Dark Souls difficulty. But luckily, I am a certified fragging machine. Another one, another one, get the- <laughs> Not even close. You took my party shit and I'll take your Gucci bag and steal your Twinnings English blend tea. Needless to say, the bikies didn't like any of that, but they are no match for me. Holy shit, that was exactly what I needed then. I brought the stuff back, but if you think that was enough revenge, enough for fucking with our shit, you are horribly mistaken. Now it's time to assert dominance by a clappage of cheeks and make sure the lost and the damned will be no more. <laughs> All gone. Now steal that shitty plane and bring it back. Easy peasy. I needed to land it in the Ellis River and I decided to go in through the hard side, but I pussied out and then. Holy shit. But revenge was ours. It was now time to celebrate. And what better way to celebrate than your friends unknowingly drugging you? Classic pranks. I love it. And thus, I was absolutely tripping balls. And let me tell you. I was having a blast. I wish the entire game could be played like this. With all good things. 
must go to an end. Now it was time to kill some hippies. I had to go to a secret lab. I had to do a train heist. Thinking back on it, I might still be tripping balls. But now it's time to derail the train, commit biochemical terrorism on Los Santos and steal this thick boy. It was time to go home. We can now recreate Breaking Bad, but instead of meth, it's acid, which is really nice of Roxa since it's pretty family friendly. And suddenly, there was an actual use for the big hull. Oh, and remember those three doors I talked about earlier? They all lead into this building. I got you baited and so did you. You can customize truck. You can put lab in truck. You can put bike on truck. But there's one thing missing. Supplies. Although I must admit I find that interesting because so far I've stolen weed, meth, chemicals, the lives of hundreds of hippies and bikies. I mean, if that doesn't make some sort of concoction to get you tripping balls for weeks, I don't know what will. But no. Dag said go here, cause here there's some real good shit. So we went there, and oh boy, was I happy I did. I finally got to live my dream of working in a warehouse. And so far, this was the highlight of the DLC. Right next to the acid trip. The only way to top this is by doing an acid trip while operating a forklift. This was exciting and I was actually getting really into it. But then Rockstar snapped me back to the grim reality. You see, I wanted to move this pallet right here so I could easily access the crates behind them. And if this thing was gone, I could stare straight into it. Pick it up, drive backwards, because that is the safe way and most effective way to do it. But no, the pallet for whatever reason was stuck and this really pissed me off way more than it should have. We got the job done. And now it was time to return to goodies and kickstart this new business. But then... Holy shit, I got absolutely fucked on by someone else doing the same shit I was doing and the race was now on. He had the lead, but if he messes up any of these turns, I can overtake him and deliver the goods first. And so, he took a right, he took a left, it was over. I would never, but he fucked up the turn. This was it. Disappointment. With our acid empire is set up, we can start cooking, we can start making the real money, and oh boy, I am ready. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching this silly little video. And just a heads up, by the way, this morning, as I was recording this video, my Twitch account got hacked. Now, I don't stream on there like ever, but there was some crypto scam running. And luckily, Twitch actually banned the account super quickly because whatever they did uh, violated TOS, which is, you know, fantastic. Like, I, I don't want that stuff happening uh, on my channel in my name. So good on Twitch for actually yeeting the channel out of existence. Uh, but if you saw that stream, and wondered what on God's green earth I was doing. Uh, I didn't do anything. That's kind of what happened. But anyway, I love you all. I'll see you guys very soon. All right, bye.